Biking is a way of life for Angel Ballesteros. It's his preferred way to get around the giant Mexican capital. His intense rides are fueled by strong, savory Mexican-grown specialty coffee. As co-owner of this Mexico City coffee shop called The Bikery, Angel Ballesteros is an entrepreneur who combines his two great passions in life, bikes and coffee. Here, you can repair just about anything ailing your two-wheeler while enjoying fine roasted specialty coffee from the highlands of Chiapas, Mexico. It's produced in specific microclimates with dark, rich soils. The result, superior quality coffee beans with unique flavor profiles. His girlfriend and business partner is Hiomara Chi, a Mexican woman with Chinese ancestry. They guarantee that each cup contains freshly roasted specialty coffee. Now they're preparing to visit Chiapas, where this fine product is grown. Eso es lo que quiero saber, porque yo se lo necesito transmitir a mis clientes. Hay mucha gente que sí sabe y nos pregunta qué grano tienes. Conocimos a gente experta y y nos atrapó. El tema de café de especialidad y que pudiéramos dar no solo una taza, sino toda una experiencia en esa taza, toda una experiencia de sabor. In recent years, Mexico has gained a global reputation for producing some of the world's best specialty coffee, along with Colombia, Ethiopia, and Kenya. To understand specialty coffee, think of a fine wine. Think of the vast variety of grapes available in the entire world, the kinds of colors and tastes that could bring. That's what this coffee is all about. Kiyomara and Angel have traveled 890 kilometers to the southeast. They're visiting San Cristobal de las Casas, a colonial era town located in the highlands of Chiapas State, Mexico's most productive coffee growing region. Tourists come here from Asia, Canada, Europe, and the United States, but few are aware that Chiapas has some 60,000 coffee producers. Just a few of them produce specialty coffee. They're here to meet one of Mexico's leading experts on specialty coffee, Jesus Salazar. He's a trained engineer who purchases the best coffee beans from local growers. Then his company roasts and sells the product to specialty coffee shops in and around Mexico. His brand is called the Coffeeologist. Salazar says Mexico has produced high quality coffee for decades but only recently has the country been creating its own national coffee consuming culture. No había donde disfrutarlo. No había en donde encontrar esa taza tan prometida y celebrada del café chapaneco. Y entonces me pareció que había una gran área de oportunidad. To promote his business, Jesús Salazar brings his workers and sales teams up into the mountains to visit the actual coffee fincas located in these indigenous highlands. This hamlet is called San Pedro Cotzilnam. It's located in a poverty-stricken region famous for the 1994 Zapatista indigenous rebellion. The people of this village speak the Tzotzil language. We follow them deep into one of their very best coffee orchards. Our guide is the owner of the finca, Victor Lopez. He explains how he and his workers harvest only the very best, most ripe grains or coffee fruits. They contain the very best flavors. Se dobla así el café. Miren nada más para que no salgan los tallitos. Así se corta el café. Se le echa al canasto donde tienen el canasto. Entonces, porque si lo cortamos hacia así, se corta los tallitos y no se debe sacar los 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 tallitos. On a full day of intense labor, experienced coffee pickers can fill four or five baskets with coffee fruits. For eight hours of work, indigenous specialty coffee pickers earn about $5 a day. Guadalupe Vasquez grew up in these coffee fields. Her father is an indigenous man named Pedro Vasquez, famous for producing some of the most sought after specialty coffee beans in all of Mexico. Vasquez's family has been perfecting the crop for 30 years. Aunque lo ves rojo, pues no los cortamos porque todavía le falta más maduración. Entonces esperamos en su punto para que tengamos suficientes sabores en la taza. 
Cool. When the harvest is done, the finca owner, Victor Lopez, invites all those in attendance for a home-cooked meal. Dubre. Then he announces he's got a surprise. Antes que se vayan, pues yo les voy a este, dar una matita de café que aproximadamente en mes de octubre estaremos sembrando estas matitas de café. His green gift is a highlight of their trip to these mountains. Tens of thousands of indigenous people call these lush green mountains of Chiapas their home. Many live in extreme poverty. It's been that way for centuries. Coffee first came to this part of Mexico in the 1870s. Nearly 100 years later, in the 1980s, coffee became Mexico's top export crop. Then in 1994, global attention was drawn to this region following the Zapatista indigenous uprising. In these very mountains, indigenous people took up arms against the Mexican government. They were fighting for basic things like health care and decent schools for their children. A ceasefire was announced and the Zapatista rebellion transformed into a peaceful movement for indigenous rights coffee has always been in the mix. And since then, the highlands of Chiapas have become world-renowned as a coffee-growing region. Yeah. Sustainable development expert Alma Gonzalez says the Zapatista rebellion drew global attention to this once forgotten part of Mexico, but it also sharply divided coffee-producing families in the highlands. Entonces, el movimiento armado Creo conflictos a nivel comunitario, a nivel regional, pero también creo las oportunidades para que organizaciones que están dentro del movimiento zapatista, incluso hoy en día, hayan construido opciones de mercado hacia la exportación e incluso nacional. González says it's still difficult for many indigenous producers to earn a decent living from coffee. She says the economic winners are the middlemen and urban coffee shop owners. Sigue dejando al productor con un menor margen de ganancia y sin el atrevimiento de ser él quien construya las normas que tienen que definir la calidad gustativa. Porque quién la define? El consumidor. El especialista torrefactor. ¿Y por qué no el productor? Jesús, Ángel, and Giomara understand the dilemma. They say specialty coffee producers like Victor López decide what it costs to deliver this product, and the producers are compensated for those expenses. Specialty coffee producers can earn up to $5.60 for every kilo of specialty coffee they deliver to middlemen. The middlemen add value to this product by toasting and packaging the coffee. They also incur many costs. Cierto? Jesus Salazar says once all his costs are calculated, things like toasting, marketing, rent, salaries, and distribution, he can sell one kilo of specialty coffee for up to $22. He says he earns anywhere from 20 to 30% profit. Yo entiendo mi trabajo como alguien que está pensando cómo construir bien una taza, tanto en un sentido ético como en un sentido estético. Back in Mexico City, fans of specialty coffee are not too concerned about the economic winners or losers. They're here to enjoy this fine brew. Sí, ya hay mucho. Xiomara Chi expects demand for specialty coffee will continue growing in Mexico and around the world. Creo que siete años o hasta más pero pues ha ido creciendo. Ahora ya encuentras barras de café, eh, muchas barras de café. Y yo creo que esto va en crecimiento. Y eso es la idea también. Por eso quisimos poner un café especialidad. And the taste is world class. For her work toasting specialty coffee beans, Guadalupe Vasquez earns about $6.60 a day. She's learning every step of the process and hopes one day her family will own their own company that toasts and sells specialty coffee. Más que nada lo que queremos ahorita con mi papá, con mi con mi familia, este pues es dar lo mejor de cada cereza de café. The Highland people of Chiapas are aware that it will likely be years 
before they can gather enough capital to finally become the producers, toasters, and owners of fine specialty coffee shops. For now, they're content to know that they're helping to make specialty coffee from Chiapas world-renowned.